I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. It's animated. I was in the mood for an animated movie this morning. So I said, screw it, I'm watching an animated movie. This is one of them that I've had on my recommended list for a while, so. And it's DreamWorks. Okay, fun, fun, fun. I haven't seen a DreamWorks movie in a while. It's normally been Disney Pixar, so. This is Burke. It's 12 days north of Hopeless and a few degrees south of freezing to death. It's located solidly on the meridian of misery. Oh, what is that voice? I know the voice. Is it Jay Baruchel? Is that the name? Jay Baruchel? The only problems are the pests. <laughs> oh my god, whoa! See, most places have mice or mosquitoes. <laughs> we have... Dragons? My name's Hiccup. Hiccup. Great name, I know. But it's not the worst. <laughs> like our charming Viking demeanor wouldn't do that. Ah, morning! <laughs> That's Stoic the Vast, chief of the tribe. Oh, shit. When he was a baby, he popped a dragon's head clean off of its shoulders. What? Do I believe it? Yes, I do. Yeah, of course. Who would lie about that? Meathead with attitude and interchangeable hands is Gobber. I've been his apprentice ever since I was little. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, compared to now. Oh, and that's Fish Legs, Snot Lout, The Twins, Rough Nut, and Tough Nut. There's so many names getting dropped here, man. Astrid. Astrid. Whoa. Oh, their job is so much cooler. Man, how regularly do these dragons attack, man? They are doing so much damage. If you ever want to get out there to fight dragons, you need to stop all this. But you just pointed to all of <laughs> Keeping this much raw vikingness contained, there will be consequences! I'll take my chances. So Okay. How old is he, I wonder, then? Has he already hit puberty? A simple back. <laughs> Dude. And then there's the monstrous nightmare. Only the best vikings go after those. Oh, good God. But the ultimate prize is the dragon no one's ever seen. Get oh, damn, that sounds cool. I just hit him with like an EMP. Never misses. Damn. No one has ever killed a Night Fury. That's why I'm gonna be the first. All right, that's hype. <laughs> this guy, man. Dude, there's so many dragons. Oh, you're about to mess something up, Hiccup. You're about to mess something up. Gonna be the Night Fury. Oh my God, that is cr Oh, that is cool, dude. The faintest silhouette. You can only tell where he's at because of the stars going missing. Yes, I hit it! Did anybody see that? Hey, friendo. Not a friendo. That dragon like shot magma. You got all that. <laughs> oh, bad bitch. Jeez, that's embarrassing. And there's one more thing you need to know. Is that his dad, uncle? Sorry, dad. Damn, so like the chief of the tribe is your dad and you came out like the runt? Winter is almost here and I have an entire village to feed. Yeah, between you and me, the village could do with a little less feeding, don't you think? This isn't a joke. <laughs> I see a dragon and I have to just kill it, you know? Oh, yeah. Many things hiccup, but a dragon killer is not one of them. Nah, nah. I'm gonna guess Dragon Trainer based on the title of the film. I've never seen anyone mess up that badly. That helped. Thank you. Jonah Hill? Oh, come on, bud. Excuse me, barmaid. I'm afraid you brought me the wrong offspring. I ordered an extra large boy with beefy arms. Why does he not speak like that? Why does he speak normal? Everyone else speaks very Vikingly. Accents are like environment, right? Where you grow up around. If we find the nest and destroy it, the dragons will leap. One more search before the ice sets in. Now who's with me? All right. Those who stay will look after Hiccup. Yeah, there it is. That's embarrassing. It's your son, man. From the time he could crawl, he's been different. I take him fishing and he goes hunting for, for trolls. Trolls? He's very ambitious. He wants to live up to the Viking name. I know it seems hopeless, but the truth is you won't always be around to protect him. He's going to get out there again. He's probably out there now. So I wonder if his dad gonna die in this one and it's gonna force him to step up or what? They just dropped the, you won't be there to protect him line, so. Ow! Oh, is that where it crashed? Damn! Boom. D! Sleeping. Oh no, yeah, it's still tied up and everything. Hasn't been able to get out, poor fella. Oh, I think I've seen this before, this this little dragon. I have brought down this mighty beast! Oh. Yeah. 
The skin is very detailed, the texture of it. I'm gonna kill you, dragon. I am a Viking! That's not what you wanna be, though, I don't think. You're not built like that. You're not that guy. You're not that guy, pal. Oh, don't look it in the eyes. You're making it harder. <laughs> so dramatic. As you should be if you're about to lose your life, I mean. You're freeing it? Yikes. <laughs> Bold choice. Oh, those eyes are much meaner now than they were. Oh, God. Oh, I like the music. Honestly, the build of it isn't that scary. Dragon training. You start in the morning. We have a surplus of dragon fighting Vikings, but do we have enough bread making Vikings or small home repair Vikings? You need this. I don't. Damn, dude, that axe looked so much smaller in his hands. When you carry this axe, you carry all of us with you. Oh, nice pressure. No more of this. You just gestured to all of me. Deal. This conversation is feeling very one sided. Deal. Welcome to dragon training. Yeah, when your son's about to start training at killing dragons, it's one hell of a thing to say you're carrying everything with you. The entire weight of our family is on your shoulders. Have fun. That's a cool arena. Pain. Love it. Oh, great. Who let him in? <laughs> the hideous simple Plus 11 stealth times two. The monstrous nightmare. Firepower 15. The is that? That sounds like McLovin. Christopher Mintz. Ew! Whoa, what is that? If you get blasted... Ew, those wings. Get your hands off my shield! It's like a million shields! Take that one, it has flower on it. Girls like flowers. <laughs> Oops, now this one has blood on it. Alright, bad bitch. I get ya. All dragons have a limited number- Oh, whoa. Dragon vision? That was cool. That's one for each of you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving into my parents' basement. You should come by sometime to work out. Oh, oh I guess it's just you and me, huh? Nope, just you. God, she's the only one with her head in the game. God, he was just gonna sit there and take it. A dragon will always, always go for the kill. Mmm, but one didn't, though. One did not. One had mercy. Gorgeous. Well, this was stupid. Well. <laughs> okay. I had a feeling, dude. It was so quiet. What is it? Stuck down here? Aw, it can't fly. I mean, it's trapped here. You could bring the other Vikings here if you felt like you needed to prove it, but they would absolutely kill it. Can't even hunt. Friend? Friend? It's kind of cool, like the, uh, I don't even know what to call those that was coming off of its face, but like, I don't know. It reminds me of like how the ears on a cat or a dog or something can help you tell their emotion. When startled, the thunder drum produces a concussive sound that can kill a man at close range. Timberjack, this gigantic creature. God, it's so crazy that many different breeds of dragon. Sprays scalding water at its victim. Extremely dangerous. Ah! Scalding water? So spit? Bone napper. Whispering. Death. So, do they have a page on the Night Fury? They wouldn't know anything about it, right? Night Fury. Yeah, they have nothing on it. They, they, they couldn't even put a picture of it. That's cool. Never engage this dragon. Your only chance, hide and pray it does not find you. Like, how do they know this? They're so scared of this thing. But maybe the Night Fury, it's a nice and gentle creature, but when it gets into self-defense mode, it can be extremely deadly. I'm sure that's probably what it is about. But when you're like hiccup and you, you're nice to it, it returns the favor. That's a crazy shot. Those are quick and light on the feet. Mm. Your job is to- Reminds me of Maze Runner. Look for this blind spot. Every dragon has one. And strike. Oh, right directly in front of it. That's- For bathe. You don't like it, then just get your own blind. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Catch her. Oh, you caught her. Love on the battlefield. She could do better. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. Look at it stalking. So mean looking. And it looks less mean. Oh, and then it re remembered who it was. Oh, it's all the knife. Okay. <laughs> Toothless. Could have sworn you had. Oh, yee! Yo! That's crazy! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks? Ew, what the hell? It's sitting like a human. 
Uh. Oh. Oh. Don't you? Yeah. What the hell? It just like made a circle? Dang, man. Kind of putting its guard down around you? Hanging like a bat, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's me! Oh, it's gonna draw? Tell me it's gonna just draw a hiccup or something. Wow, incredible. Great job, I'll hang that up on the fridge. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> You're testing yourself, man. I fucks with the soundtrack. <laughs> oh my god, the anticipation. Wow. Damn, that was... <laughs> That's beautiful. That was great. That was incredible. It's the wings and the tails you really want. A downed dragon is a dead dragon. It's a birthmark. Okay, I've been stuck with you since- Wonder, is Astro gonna be the first to find what Hiccup's up to? And, whoa! Like a retractable type of thing? A foldable? Blanking on what the names of those are called, but it's like, kind of like a sail. Some nice Icelandic card and a whole smoke- Jesus, just took like a week's supply of food, man. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you're going with him. Or her. One head breathes gas, the other head light. That is an insane little combo. First ambush attack, crushing its victims. Will you please stop that? <laughs> there! That's the... Yeah, what the hell. We thought you were a dragon. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with a dragon-esque figure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's dead. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Gross, man. It has such a long neck. Yeah. Oh, God, man. Pick up. That's so cool. The sparking. Back into your cage. Now think about what you've done. So is he just getting better with learning how to talk to dragons or something? Like, hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. This dragon's just a big dog, man. This is so never seen before, man. A Viking that can fight a dragon peacefully. <laughs> that's the spot. You think the G spot's the same for every dragon? I doubt. Yeah, it's, it, it like takes, what? It grows. Oh, oh no, it's just very aggressive. It's like a chihuahua. Yeah, I think it's interesting. They just take traits from like dogs and cats and just apply it. Dude, he's really sneaking this into the village. This is the bravest thing you could ever possibly do. Hi, Astrid. Hi, Astrid. I normally don't care what people do, but you're acting. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon's definitely gotten attached. That's nice. That's cute. Instead of just bouncing on its own, it had to pick up Hiccup first. By the way, we're about like 45 minutes and about over halfway through, I think. Well, maybe not halfway through, but there's not even a main villain. Seems like the conflict is mainly the pressure from his family and everyone around him to be a true Viking. Hiccup? He has this way with the beasts. Aw. Here we go. Position three, no, four. It's so intelligent, which I know in Game of Thrones, dragons were always considered to be as intelligent, if not more than humans, I believe, right? Was that a Game of Thrones thing or is that an actual mythology thing? That's my fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, him. Yeah. Go, baby. Yes. They're really out here doing this, man. Oh, shit. No. Oh, Jesus. Okay, no, no, no. Come back that point. Oh, this is it. D Oh my god, it looked like he was about to hit the rock. And I'm not talking Dwayne Johnson. Ooh! Okay, you know, this music, banger. Felt very triumphant. Come on! <laughs> Could've been worse. It's all these little baby dragons. Shut that shit down real quick. Dude, Hiccup's really out here just taming all of the dragons. Everything we know about you guys is wrong. 
Yeah, who knows? They'd fight back if they're, you know, attacked. If they're under fire, they're gonna defend themselves. Who would have known? You've been keeping secrets. Uh, I, uh, I, ha I have? Just how long did you think you could hide it from me? Didn't really occur to me, like, the chief, his dad's name is literally named Stoic. That's funny. At least that's what the caption said. I Just wait till you spill a nadder's guts for the first time and mount your first grunkle head on a spear. <laughs> oh my goodness. All those years of the worst Viking Burke has ever seen. Odin, it was rough. I almost gave up on you. <laughs> With you doing so well in the ring, we finally have something to talk about. Aw, um, dude. I, I brought you something. Ah, your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's half of her breastplate. Keeps her close, you know. Sure. Good talk. Uh, yeah, we, we I'll, I'll see you back at the All house. Right. Great. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'm and for Man. I mean, I think it was cute, his dad kind of reaching out like that and trying to find that common ground. That, uh, that was sad. Uh, we finally have something to talk about. That was sad. I'm very curious how it's going to go when he, when everyone finds out about Toothless. I'm expecting some type of villain, somebody, right? Like, who's going to be the guy that's like, no, we need to kill this dragon. I'm really hoping it's not going to be the dad. <laughs> Stealing all the spotlight. Okay, quiet down. The elder has decided. You've done it, Hiccup! You get to kill the dragon! <laughs> Damn, dude. Can't wait. I am so leaving. Oh. <laughs> this movie's done a couple of like really seamless uh transitions, scene transitions. I wanna know what's going on. I've been making outfits. Drag me back. Go ahead. Here we go. Ow! What? <laughs> <laughs> That's for the lies. Oh, jeez, she's cool. <gasps> Get down! Uh oh, uh oh, coming to help. No! Oh God! Astrid, toothless, toothless. Dude, he looks so scary. <laughs> oh, ah! Damn, he said not today. You ain't going nowhere. She really did a pull up on that flimsy ass branch. He said he's not usually like this. Oh no. Dude, he just up went upside down. That's a brave way to fly. And now the spinning. Dude, he's showing off. Showing all the tricks. Oh, that's a gorgeous shot. Gorgeous landscape, skyline, whatever. The soundtrack's been a W so far. Absolute W. And it continues. Wow. Whoa! Clean. Oh, that was clean. Wow. How did that even work? With the lights, northern lights, right? Jeez. Yeah, well, you like that, don't you? Man, you only like me for my dragon. Get out of here. Get out of here, Astrid. I ain't complaining. I'll take what I can get, but still. Whoa, what is it? Whoa, like the dragon from Shrek. Holy shit. What's going on? I don't know. Migration. It looks like they're hauling in their kill. What does that make us? What is happening? Why where is Toothless taking them? Oh, this is like the Cave of Wonders. It's satisfying to know that all of our food has been dumped down a hole. They're not eating any of it. Well, what's down the hole? Maybe there's a just massive dragon that's eating it all. Oh wow, what a contribution. Oh, there is a massive dragon, oh my god. Totally makes sense, it's like a giant beehive. There yeah, Queen Bee. We just discovered the dragon's nest, and you want to keep it a secret? To protect your pet dragon? Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> okay, then what do we do? Let Toothless go have a talk with- <laughs> That's for kidnapping me. Oh, that's cute. That's for <laughs> everything else. She even made that look super tough. How the hell did she do that? This movie's a banger, by the way. I haven't said it yet. It's a banger. If someone had told me that in a few short weeks, Hiccup would go from, well, being Hiccup to placing first in Dragon Tra Why do you talk about your son like that in public? And no one's more surprised or more proud than I am. See, like, he keeps doing that. He keeps really punching it home, like, how little he thought of his son before. Yeah! Yeah! That wasn't Jonah Hill's voice I just heard say that, right? He didn't just bandwagon, did he? Whoa, it's... What are you even supposed... What? Okay, so it extinguished itself. 
What is he doing? The same thing he's been doing. You guys have watched him do this over and over with every other dragon. I'm not one of them. Damn, that was symbolic. Throwing the Viking hat, helmet. They're not what we think they are. We don't have to kill them. Uh, I feel like this is gonna go wrong. I said stop the fight! <laughs> Damn it, dude. Oh, toothless. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Dude, a dragon fight sounds absolutely incredible. Night Fury. Oh, this is insane. <laughs> I, the, the build of Night Fury just is not that scary. He's, it's a, it's small compared to the others, and it, he can put on a very scary face, but just the build of it versus every other dragon is not that intimidating. Like, it just speaks to its personality, I bet. Its demeanor that all the other dragons are terrified of it. Get out of there! No! Dude! Just don't hurt Toothless. The dragon? That's what you're worried about? Not the people you almost killed? Just... You did that! There's... Something else on their island, Dad. It's, it's a dragon oh, on their never... island. So you've been to the nest. Did I say nest? <laughs> Toothless did. Only a dragon can find the island. Oh my God. Oh damn it. So he's gonna be the villain. More of an antagonist. For once in your life, would you please just listen to me? <sighs> you throw your lot in with them. You're not a Viking. You're not my son. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Well, I guess not. I don't want to call him specifically a villain because this is how he was raised. This is all he knows is I'm Viking, dragon's bad, but he's definitely the antagonist, I'd say. Or maybe just the whole idea of the classic Viking traditions, their lifestyle. Lead us home. Fuck you. You must feel horrible. You've lost everything. Well, oh, thanks. Your father, your tribe, <laughs> your best friend. Thank you for summing that up. <laughs> I feel so much better. Why couldn't I have killed that dragon when I found him in the woods? Why didn't you? I was a coward. I was weak. I wouldn't kill a dragon. 300 years, and I'm the first Viking who wouldn't kill a dragon. First to ride one, though. I wouldn't kill him because he looked as frightened as I was. I bet he's really frightened now. What are you gonna do about it? Probably something stupid. But you've already done that. Then something crazy. <laughs> gonna take one of the dragons out of the pen or something i'm having a movie watching experience where like i'm hoping it doesn't end this is amazing you were wise to seek help from the world's most deadly weapon i love this plan i did <laughs> dude they're all such bandwagoners i think that's cool though man the most unlikeliest looking team <laughs> You're going to need something to help you hold on. I, everyone gets their own. Yikes. When we crack this mountain open, all hell is going to break loose. And my undies. Good thing I brought extras. <laughs> oh, shit. They're about to break Beyonce loose. Oh, my God. Dude, that was insane. <laughs> What, did you not see that? You're running into that? That reminded me of that shot from like Aliens where I think it was like Ripley when she looked up into the vents and she just saw the everywhere, Aliens. We've done it! <laughs> All right, where's Beyonce? Where's she at? <laughs> Look, Toothless Nose. Clear. Huh. Like Godzilla? Is Godzilla considered a dragon or what? I don't know, I've never seen a Godzilla movie so I couldn't tell you the first thing. Lord help us. <laughs> there she is. What's up, Queen Bee? I have no sympathies. Dracarys. I can buy them a few minutes if I give that thing someone to hunt. Then I can double that time. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> That was mildly irritating. Just threw that toothpick at me. 
Oh, damn. The kids are here. The next generation. Make some noise. Keep it confused. Rough, tough, fanatic. Why does Ash should not get her own dragon? Why does she have to ride in the back? Wait, everyone knows I'm more irritating. See? <laughs> That's funny, though. The decision to give the twins the twin-headed dragon. That's cool. I want to see uh, Hiccup tame Queen Bee, though. But considering all the other smaller dragons seem to be scared, maybe it's not possible. I can't miss. What's wrong, buddy? You got something in your... You're pissing me off. Yeah, you're the Mikey. <laughs> It's just such a stupid thing. Just bashing the eye in. Dad, please. Dad, please. Thank you. It's gotta be. Get your ass down there. Dad? He is. Oh my god. Hype. Let's go, man. You got it, buddy. Oh, this is it. <laughs> this is incredible. I'm sorry for, for everything. Yeah, me too. You don't have to go up there. The music. We're Vikings. It's an occupational hazard. Ooh, yeah. I'm proud to call you my son. Thanks, Dad. God, dude, this movie's incredible. Damn, it's sucking! <laughs> did you get her? Sure did. Oh, what? <laughs> that was cute. Thing has Yo, the soundtrack is incredible. That dragon is so goddamn big, isn't it? It's wild. Look at, dude, that is an insane. S yeah. Let's go, man. Night Fury in the night. This movie's amazing. That was just a great shot. Oh, that was perfect because the gas started coming up. No. No. Ah. Ow. Oh, son. I did this. Man, I know there's sequels, so. I'm so sorry. Hiccup. Toothless, you could have you revealed that a lot sooner. He's alive. You brought him back alive. I mean, if there's any, like, what a statement. What a statement to be made to Vikings, what Toothless just did. Thank you for saving my son. Most of them. What did he lose? Hey, Toothless. Yeah, happy to see you. Uh, you're in my house. I can't know you're... <laughs> He lost a leg or a foot or something. Yeah, he's gonna have a little peg leg. Damn, he lost an UGG. Wear that shit like a badge of honor. <laughs> oh, oh my God, this is, this is incredible, incredible parallel. Oh, that shot with the ooh, what a film, dude. They're really friends now. Turns out, all we needed was a little worth. This. You just gestured to all of me. <laughs> what a callback! What? That's for scaring me. What? What? What is? What is it always gonna be this way? This. Holy shit! I could get used to it. <laughs> this is Burke. It snows nine months of the year and hails the other three. I've got goosebumps, dude. The only upsides are the pets. <laughs> While other places have ponies or parrots, we have dragons. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, title card. Let's go, dude. <sighs> well, that was How to Train Your Dragon. And that was one of the best animated movies I think I've ever seen. To be honest, I think I kind of forgot that it was even animated. Like, it was so damn impressive. The shots were so great. And I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But like, that last little uh, monologue, that last little thing where he was like, hey, this is uh, Burke or whatever the hell, right? I don't remember exactly what he said to describe Burke at the beginning of the movie. But he was describing Burke. And it, I don't remember him sounding as like confident, as strong as he did at the end there he's like this is burke like he sounded so proud and i just don't remember him sounding and speaking with that attitude in the beginning when describing burke which i love maybe he did but i don't remember it like that i do think it's impressive how this was supposed to well maybe i don't want to say it's supposed to be but like i don't know i was going into it expecting a animated kids movie but like i already said
said to a point it came it, like I forgot that it was even animated the action was so great the animation was so smooth it was so detailed that like so I just it, I forgot it was animation but like it just feels like it, it didn't even feel like a kid's movie even it, it felt so adult even though it had like a, a kid kind of like you know I don't I don't know how old Hiccup actually was I, I mean I want to imagine he was probably like 14 or something like that maybe 15 16 he could be up there he could be like in his early 20s I don't know but it's a great coming of age story and I I, I love the story of him trying to go against the expectations set upon him from his father and just from the culture around him like that one scene there towards the end where him and Astrid were talking and he was like I'm the first one in 300 years I'm the first Viking that could not kill a dragon what is wrong with me and Astrid set him straight was like yeah you're the first to ride one though so you're the first of the next way you're the next generation uh, chills man everything about this movie was chills I felt like everything was important they didn't waste any time I don't think there was any filler every line felt important even that like um you just pointed to all of me you just whatever whatever the exact word you know what I mean he said it twice in the beginning because people were using it in a demeaning way because they didn't think very highly of him so I, I just I love the way that it came back around and it paid off in a positive way his character is great and his relationship with Toothless was just beautiful and I loved watching that grow especially that first scene where they really started to trust each other and he was like drawing him and then Toothless just pulls out a branch and just starts drawing a bunch of nonsense because like Toothless he sees that Hiccup is drawing something in the sand but has no idea what he's drawing is just like oh d the lines sand. I just, I love that. That was adorable. And then their first flying scene was amazing. I could literally sit here all day. I could be like, the first scene was amazing. And then, oh my God. And then the next scene, that was amazing. And then, oh my God, don't let me forget about the next scene. Like I could do that to every single scene of this movie. Every scene felt so important and it felt so perfectly structured. Perfect. Like it was amazing. Soundtrack was actually goaded. Like I got emotional towards the end of there. And I think a real big part of it was just the, the use of the soundtrack. And it, it, oh, it's so good. I think this definitely might be like one of the best animated movies I've ever seen. I think Dream, yeah, DreamWorks definitely did the Shrek movies, right? And Shrek 2 is one of the best animated movies of all time, in my opinion. I love Shrek 2. Shrek, Shrek 1 and Shrek 2 are great, but Shrek 2 is just mwah. But this, I, this like, this is better than Shrek. Any of the Shrek movies. I wasn't sure going into it. I was like, okay, uh, I mean, I'm in the mood for some animation. I'll, I'll watch this How to Train Your Dragon movie because I've heard good things and I know people wanted me to see it. But I didn't necessarily have like plans to watch the rest immediately, but I guarantee, like, those are going to be the next movies I watch. I'm probably going to binge them. Uh, I have a trip coming up, but like when I get back, I'm binging the shit out of those, man. I think there's two or three more and I, oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to see where the story goes from here. I don't really exactly know where it can go from here. I feel like they really had such a perfect beginning to end with this one. Like what's the next theme that you could cover? I don't know. I'm very curious. I'm very curious where they can go from here. So let me know your thoughts on this movie, what, what you guys liked, what your favorite parts were, or if you didn't like the movie for some reason, let me know why. And because we're all entitled to our opinions and it's just interesting to see different perspectives. So yeah, man, I'll be back with number two very soon.